Hi, this is your friend Lily. I provide stroke education at work and it's been on my heart to want to do the same for my friends and loved ones. It is currently um, raining in Houston and I'm sitting in the car waiting it out. So I thought I'd use this time to make a short little clip on this while we wait. So here goes. Stroke is damage to part of your brain due to a lack of blood flow because a blood vessel there is either ruptured or is blocked. The part of the brain that suffers the damage can affect the body part that it controls. So you may experience a loss of function in those body parts. Common symptoms of stroke include sudden confusion, dizziness, headache, sudden loss of vision in one or both eyes, trouble speaking, or sudden weakness in part of your body, trouble walking, trouble talking. Now you are at risk for stroke if you have high blood pressure, if you have diabetes, or smoke. Other risk factors include um, alcohol abuse, drug abuse, obesity, high cholesterol, if you use birth control pills. I want to teach you a mnemonic to remember that can help test for some signs of stroke. That's very easy to remember called FAST, F-A-S-T, FAST. F is for face, if you want to do a quick smile. And if one part of your mouth doesn't come up or it even droops, then that could be a sign of stroke. A is for arms. If you want to close your eyes and extend both of your arms out and hold for 10 seconds. Now, if one arm doesn't come up or it drips down, then it could also be a sign of stroke. S is for speech. If you want to say something really simple like, sky is blue, or Houston is raining. Well, then if you have trouble forming the words, or if you even talk with a slur, or you can't speak at all, that could be a sign that you are experiencing stroke. So if any of that happens, like the face, the arms, and the speech, if any of that um, has been affected, then you want to rush to the hospital in an ambulance as soon as possible. So that's the last um, letter T. T is for time. Time is of essence. How fast you get it treated, it can affect the outcome. Some people decide to go and sleep it off, thinking that it'll feel better the next morning and valuable time has passed. Some of the damage it became permanent and irreversible. So then you have to go through rehab to gain some of the functions back.